Well, there are few things harder in life than losing someone close to you. A new study finds people who have recently lost a loved one or friend may be at higher risk of binge drinking. That's especially true for younger adults. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has a look at what researchers found. This study looked at data from a health behavioral risk survey that asked people lots of questions, including how much alcohol they consumed. But for the first time in 2019, they also asked the survey respondents about whether they'd been bereaved in the last couple of years. And their researchers say what they found surprised them. We hear a lot about the health risks of binge drinking or downing multiple alcoholic drinks in one sitting. But a new research study led by Dr. Tony Miles finds a surprising possible connection between binge drinking and bereavement. My hunch was that it would be linked to heavy drinking. And it's really not. Uh, heavy drinkers are probably heavy drinkers before the person that they care about dies. It was a connection to binge drinking that was like, Whoa. Binge drinking is defined as a woman drinking four drinks, a man five drinks within about a two hour window. Miles, a visiting scholar at the Rosalind Carter Institute for Caregiving, studied health survey data in Georgia from 2019 before the pandemic and found those who reported being bereaved were significantly more likely to report binge drinking than those who were not bereaved. About 46 percent of those who reported binge drinking also reported having recently lost a friend or a loved one, she says, and about a third of those have lost three or more people. That's serious. That is a serious hit that is not well documented. We don't know what it does to people. Miles says young adults ages 18 to 20 had the highest rate of binge drinking. You know, circle back to the person, especially the young adult who's lost somebody. How are you doing? Are you, you know, are you drinking more than you thought you you would before. Jennifer Olson, CEO of the Rosalind Carter Institute, says it's important to reach out to caregivers who are now grieving the loss of their loved one. You know, our hesitance is sometimes to not invite that person to something because maybe they're still grieving or it might remind them of something, um, not connect with them because we aren't sure what conversation to have. But Olson says reach out and keep reaching out. Send a note and say, no need to respond to this. I just want you to know that you're still a person in my in my circle. Miles says this survey only looked at binge drinking and bereavement, but they'd also like to do more research to take a look at how being bereaved impacts someone's social drinking. For your Fox Medical team, I'm Beth Galvin.